Yeah, 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 na, 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 yeah. Certain fire flames, now I'm born again. Times really change, talk truth. We seen better days, use no safe again. What a damn shame, talk truth. I want that them are promo, so quick them selling out, them sold them cashing out. Yeah, well, this is Kemetic 9 representing the Ida Star and the mindset. And I'm move right, get the mindset. Said blessed love, manners, and respect. One for greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I the first, and also Empress Menin the first. Marcus I, Holy Emmanuel I, King Selassie I, Ja Rastafari. One more day above ground, beautiful viewers and subscribers, as the item know. Life, our ultimate position, not no greater than that, no matter what I go on, on top of what I go on. Zid. Yeah, but I love the item to, um, you know, please push that like button, you know what I mean? Good to have the item here on the platform today. Don't know, so the program is also powered by um, Yard Slang Closing. <laughs> Yard slang, wait there. Somebody says something about Jamaican patois and style and fashion. Yes, to us, me I search the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Wagwan are the latest and newest one in a t shirt, woody, slippers, and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I'm not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slang. Hit them with a bang. Yard slang hitting them with a bang. You know the thing, go check them out on all of the social platforms. Cause that's what the thing there. Zane. So, alright, honorable family. Zane, we have um, a special guest on the platform today. And, you know, we are going to go into some serious reasoning. Um, it's a bridging of mine. For a good while, Zin, and you know him, him have something that he more have to share. You know what I mean? His experience, you know, as a Rastafari, I'm to um, I go through a sojourn through Earth right about now, Zin. So, um, me go introduce him to the platform, Zin, my beloved and honorable brother. Blessed love, my lad. Yes, my lord. Greetings and salutations, my beloved. And greetings to all Rastafarian brethren and sisters in the diaspora. Yes, I greet the item in the divine, dignified, radiant, and cosmological name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, the Royal Highness Queen Omega, Wazir Menen, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja. Rastafari, Wally John Marcus I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari, yes I. Yes, my lord, great to have the eye here upon the platform, Anna, and a pleasure seeing. Um, which part are you currently there, my lad? Yeah, well, presently I am in a little island um, in the eastern atlantic region what them call prince edward island in a canada in a canada okay so yes they, sir in a canada there is in canada all right yes sir um and the i the i grew up in jamaica right yes i born and grew up in in a jamaica all right talk to me a little bit about um the i you know journey in a Jamaica forward up and thing. Well, the I journey started out in a Mepen Clarendon, you know, as there is where I was birthed in the physical from my mother and father right there in Mepen Town, Clarendon. So, I and I attend schools like basic school 
primary school, high school, in a said Clarendon. Said. Yes, I attend a um, vocational um, training institution in a St. Catherine where they would have called Portmore Art Academy. Mm-hmm. Yes, I. So, I and I journey as a Rastafarian bridging started out, you know, way back in the days when, you know, I and I grew up around man like Rasai Vai and his family as Rastafarians in the community, you know. So, from there, so, I see the calling of Rastafari and fear life and I take the calling, you know. I never start growing luck still further on because, you know, growing up with um, family members that are providing for you, they dictate how you groom yourself or how you carry yourself. So, Especially so, going to school and all these things. So what the ayah said, the I grew up in a Christian home. Somewhat. Right. Somewhat. Because I saw me know Jamaica run still in um, <laughs> Yes, I. The Christian them not really in the Rasta thing. Even no, though I. when you read number six, it a tell about the Nazarene vow, but I don't know how the the Christian them skip past past that and not understand the part of the Bible but that is a, a, a another reason for another day still continue my lord <laughs> yes my lord so basically um, as I say you know I grew up in a the community a way them call Effortville yeah. where yeah, I grew up amongst virgins like Rastafari and other Rastafarian virgins in the community, you know, where I would have say, uh, emulate a certain kind of precepts and principles. And I would say, yeah, I would like to be or become a Rastafarian when I grow up. Yes, I. So, so I so- took. So nothing never I took that journey in my life. Go ahead. Outside of that never attract the eye. Christianity never attract the eye. Bad man thing never attract the eye. No, my lad, because I want to tell the eye you know, that while I was attending um church service with my grandmother um back in the days, you know, hearing the pastor, you know, preaching on the on the the altar, you know. I would really, you know, I, I, I had questions about some of the things that, you know, the pastor was saying, you know, because let's say that he was there preaching a certain sermon this Sunday, but by the time some of the people them leave from the church floor, you see them start living one different kind of life other than that which was being preached or taught by the pastor, so to speak. Scene. So, so I I I I cite up Rastafari and cite up that Rastafari is the way, the truth, and the light. So I never see myself wanting to be no other person or individual or member of community, but a Rastafarian. Jesus never hold the eye. No, even though there was this Jesus thing, no, the Jesus never hold eye. The Jesus never hold eye. So further on, I grew up to come link with a virgin where did a chat up in a Bobo Hill where them called Priest Ellis. Yeah. Yes, and Priest Ellis started up the consciousness in her eye and you know bring her forward blessed love mama and you know to sojournment and you know show her eye forward the runnings out of grass and you know I grew up in other state there where I I come to get certain more precepts about Rastafari from Priest Ellis because as I said 
he was shadding up in a bubble hill and had become a priest. Yes, my lad. So, the I what what the I say now at, at the culture in from from the priest and you know the rest of Rastafari bridging them within the community, strengthen the I and you know even give that confidence to know say yeah, it's Rastafari. Yes, I, my lad. Yes, I. Yes, I. Majesty. Because, because, as I say, you know, growing up around Rasaivai and his, you know, children, them, you know, I, I and I have always had that passion for wanting to be Rastafari. But I get Wolipa, you know, spanking sometimes by my grandmother for go up a Sunday morning time because, you know, I did officially did want to take it on at an early age but grandma was not having that so i get a whole for spanking if you don't want to if you not be rasta so to speak see it see it <laughs> I, I, I can't be what you are not you have to be what not. you are <laughs> <laughs> true my life true true reality so it was inevitably you know struggle but why, why you think um why, why you think the, the elders with that religious mindset you know back in them days there why why you think they they, they, they didn't want to give you know youths you know that freedom and and let them exercise the free will that them born with my lord i think it is it has more or less to do with the mannerism within which the Bible itself was plagiarized to I and I elders and how they grasp their understanding of what was said to them or read to them. You know, it gives them a different perspective of Rastafari and you know, make make it seem or appear, would appear that Rastafari is a cult, so to speak. See it. So the whole black art man thing yeah. from back in them days there, them, them narrative, yes, my- them propaganda that, that what was spread about Rasta. It, 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 that is part of what um, a lot of them elders, you know, hold on to and, 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 and would shun Rasta. But I think at the same time too, you know, you see, because the religious mindset, Zain, when, 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 when them say, boy, you have no other God and, you know, probably Jesus is your, you know, your Lord and your Savior and all of them things, that, you know. The people them take them things that dear to them art, you see. So, you find out, say, ones now I come talk about Selassie, you know. Who is this King Selassie? You know, and, 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 and. You know, they would never take the time out to really go and find out. You see, who is this man? Why these um, Rastafari virgin in our community? Them are, them are, them are some of the picnic to a woman them born out of. You see me, I say, why is it them take up this thing? You know, pan them. You see? Most of the elders them never take the time out to, you know, ask themselves them question they are even went to research. Them just shun the thing straight away. And lo and behold, after shunning it for so many years and decades, you know, you have ones rise up who, you know, Jamaican national music, which is reggae music, you know, is a Rastaman of the king feet. You know, 
and then you start to hear about gospel reggae affiliate and all of them things that which you never used to hear about you know you only hear gospel gospel music gospel music is gospel music but you never hear you know gospel reggae you know so all these things but anyway I don't know if they are follow what I say still. Yes, I, I follow what, what they are say, my lad. And points to note, you know, my lad. I and I must remember, say, in a 1962, I and I, um, Little Island, gained independence. And the literacy of our people was not um, where it is now. Mm-hmm. So, as they have always said back then in the past, that if you want to hide something from a black man, you put it in a book. Mm-hmm. So most of our ancestors or most of our elder people, they weren't people that um, take up reading like that, you know, because if we can clearly remember, you know, throughout the period of, of, of slavery, right, or what they would consider or call slavery, our people was being flagged or whipped not to read. Mm-hmm. So, you know, a lot of our people grew up with the mindset of, um, I, I don't, um, what you call it, I don't care or I don't care don't kind care. of mindset. Yeah. Yes. So, them never so keen on reading and you find out that I and I are the generation that come forth to come, come shed the light in the darkness mm-hmm. to reveal the hidden truths. So I and I would have to add red to come to come and know that Ile Selassie is the man where the Bible I speak about. See. The Lord of Lords. We only know Ile Selassie as the only Lord of Lords. We know we, we don't know no other Lord of Lords. Mm-hmm. So coming to that consciousness. We hold on to Ile Selassie as he is the way, the truth, and the light. Mm-hmm. And you see, what most of I and I um, elders did not approve of is the fact that they are saying that Ile Selassie is a man. Yeah. So. So how can they they, they, they they more than likely saying that we are blaspheming because we are praise man. Yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 at the same time Christ did did came as a man. As a and before we go no further, my lord, let me just put it this way. In the Bible it speaks of the creation of man. Mm-hmm. And it says that in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. And the word take unto itself a flesh and become a man and dwell among men. Natural. So so right there, my lord, we have it unequivocally clear that the supreme being of all creation dwells within I and I. Not just I, not just the I, but all the I and I as earthlings. Omniscient. Omniscient, my lad. Omnipotent. All knowing. The supreme God of creation. I Celestia. My lad. Because Yeah, man, man. Because, because you see, the 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 the, the term or the title Ile Selassie is not just a name, but it is a what you'd call now an a, a a title given to a being who possess the supreme consciousness, the God consciousness. And I alone. Go ahead, my lad. No, me just emphasize the word where you use the supreme. Yes, my lad. 
And an Ilex Lassie I alone, we see come and emulate such divinity and such consciousness within the diaspora. Remember, you know, my lad, it is 72 nations that crown his imperial majesty, Emperor Ilex Selassie the first as king of kings and lord of lords, you know. And there is no other king on the face of creation that was crowned by so many different nations. Right. So this in all its sense and all our reasoning clearly depicts that Ailis Selassie is the supreme being. He is the God that created man and dwell among man. See it. So what the ayah said is his, his majesty is the creator. Yes, my lord. Christ in his kingly character. All right, there I said Christ in his kingly character. So in in so who is Christ now in the, in the in the princely character? In the priestly character? Priestly or princely? Whichever way. You see, <laughs> Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Charles Edwards, King Emmanuel, the high priest, Melchizedek, Father Abraham. Seeing? He is Christ seated or the lamb that sat upon the throne. In a Mount Zion, as you know, holy Mount Zion, where we the foundation dwell. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Sila. Rastafari. So, you see, we can't have a king without a priest, and we can't have a priest without a prophet. Natural. So that is where you find the three in one, the trinity, Godhead consciousness, Ailes Selassie, Prince Emmanuel and Marcus, never forgetting her royal Ines Queen Omega, the mother of creation. All right, true, true. So when, 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 when we speak about Prince Emmanuel then and being the black Christ, what we are talking about? Cause we don't want to, you know, confuse people, and I think there's a lot of confusion around the whole thing. Zinka, when you say His Majesty is Christ in His kingly character, all right, we can understand that. Zin, so when it comes to the Black Christ now, which is Prince Emmanuel, the said man now, what them call Bongo Eddie, Zin, Charles Edward. When it comes to that man. Is that man the, 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 the same Christ what we are referred to? Or that he speak about in the Bible? That is the same Christ in a three different person, my lad. Because, you see, Christ is a consciousness, you know, my lad. Yeah. And this consciousness is embedded in all I and I. So... Likewise, Bongo Eddie, or King Emmanuel, Ailes Selassie, Marcus, I and I, and all other beings, we have that Christ consciousness within I and I, because I and I are all aspects of the divine collective of Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. So, while, you, while all of us may come together, we, we, we come together and become almighty. Because the voice of the, the, voice of the people are the voice of God. Right? All right. So when all people come together, we, we become almighty. But one, one person or one individual is refer, can be referred as an aspect of the Christ consciousness. So just like how we have 
King Selassie, I, King Emmanuel, and Marcus, the three in one, the Trinity. Yeah. Just like father, mother, and child. So that is where the consciousness comes now, where we know, say, Christ in three persons Emmanuel, Selassie, and Marcus. So it is it is not something that we we, we we are going to you know be disputing or having religious problems with people about when we say Emmanuel is the Christ. That is something that we know, my lad, because that is the man that brings salvation unto the people. My lad. My lad, I know the I know these things, you know, but it's a true I and I are reason. And you know, to give the reasoning substance from what we are talk about, you know, we have to just make the eye um you know express the eye self, what the eye know, you know, come and know what the eye know upon a level. <laughs> you see me I say. But yes, that sir. is beside the point, you know. What I mean, we don't know what they are the eye head. You see me, so me I ask questions said we for ones out there who may not overstand you know what i mean when we say certain things you see because as we did a talk about the elders them you know some of the elders them never understand um about rastafari where the whole you know the whole thing i come from and what the thing really is all about and even a lot of rasta said we today still don't understand um what the thing is all about still you see it. but knowledge increase you know what i mean as as we as we grow we learn you see me i say so knowledge increase my lad everyone and we now got to be at the same pied our stage in terms of um you know the knowledge and and things still so you know it's good that we can express ourselves if you are upon a platform yeah and you know ones can learn from you know, from you know where we are, where we are, reason about my God. So, you know, give thanks. You know, for the yes, I know, brother. Yeah, for the you know, for the articulation, my God. Yes, I. All right, Bobo. So the 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 I the I left from Jamaica, seeing and the the I moved to Canada. You there, Canada? You know. Yes, I. That's the far right. Yeah. Alright, my lad. Zin, cause that are the reason why we there are still in a but we can we no must have to touch that topic there immediately still. You see me I say we can, you know, still depend on the culture said we you see. And as you know, as the thing flow, we don't know how what the time um the high availability still. So you know just let me know still my lad. Yes, I we, we yeah, I can yeah, I can you know touch you know whichever aspect of the reasoning you know at the appointed time, my lad, because you know the story is one that you know the world must know it, and you know I and I get the privilege here and now to make the world and make your viewers and subscribers them hear and know what is taking place, so. You know, there is no one that would be kept in the darkness, so to speak, and can say that they never know or they never hear. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. So, they I, they I, they I can, you know, select the, the different aspects of the reasons where they want to go in on my life. And we just go in it accordingly. True, 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 true. All right, all right, all right. All right, my life. Yeah. So... This this are the thing I'm more ask the eye, Zane, because the the eye sound very learned, Zane. <laughs> the eye sound like you read all the books. Talk to me about um this this narrative now that you know is is a narrative that you know me I watch, I circulate um for a couple of years now. You know what I mean? The narrative about um, the Anunnaki, seen 
which I I think is a narrative that come now to undermine um, African people works from civilization up until this point in you know in life you know if you say you know some other things just come and take all the credit but talk to me about whatever they i know re- regarding the the, the 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 subject matter my life. you see the anunnaki um while people may you know be wondering what it means and stuff like that you know my lord the anunnaki are the same african beings that created all things here on planet earth you know my lord it is that you know africans the term african or africa which you know people are saying or it is said that you know it is after the the roman inquisition of of carthage that you know africanos gave you know Africa, its name from Alkebulan, changed the name of Africa from Alkebulan to Africa. But, you know, the Anunnaki's are, are, I would think that the Anunnaki's are the, 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 the awakening consciousness within I and I, that spiritual consciousness, the creative force within I and I, my lad. That is, that is what is coming back on stream right now. So when when people are talking about the Anunnaki, the Anunnaki, you know, it is just making reference to the, the awakening of the African consciousness and the African spirituality, you know, which was dumbed down by, you know, the conquistadors and their inquisitions. So, as it is obvious, my lad, I and I are here in in what what it's it called the atlantic region where you know if we if we put two and two together we would come to realize that this is the region or this is the place where atlantis was because this island that i am present and right here right now my lad is an island that has been unseeded for more than 12,000 years. See it. So, so, so I, I come to learn this history about this place by going through and try to gain this knowledge. So, um, Atlantis, Atlantis basically is when uh the the the, the Anunnaki then was was around yes my lord this is this is the whole this is the whole um part of our culture and history to you know my lord we we are here and we 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 are called many different names over the many different centuries because it is the same Anunnaki that would you find all right you find out that Nubians are are Ethiopians so to speak are Africans Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. and Nubians are from the place where they call Egypt before before there was any um, inquisition of the Greeks the Romans and these um, other conquistadors, you had Nubia. Mm-hmm. So you find out that our people was scattered upon the face of the earth to various different um, inquisitions, which um, which 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 take um, shape into into the continent. So yeah. people were not only please, my lad. No, may I, may I, may I follow the eye, may I listen to the eye, may I listen to the eye. Yeah, people were not only taken from the continent and brought into forced servitude, but people were taken from these parts of the Americas as well and brought 
into the continent because people were already living here. Our people were already living here in these part of the diaspora already. So when 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 the British came here, they came and they saw our people. And in order for them to have occupied these lands, they would have to, you know, whether wipe out our people or they put them in forced servitude, which 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 would still come down to to slavery. So yes, my lord, they 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 name Anunnaki is just referring to basically us as 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 beings being in different time space and utilizing certain different forms of energy whether it be spiritually mechanically or otherwise my lord so the name Anunnaki is nothing is nothing that you know people should get um, scared and frightened about. It is just speaking about the gods or the god consciousness being reawakened within I and I as Africans. Hopefully, I I I expound on that in a. a a sense where the viewers and the subscribers, you know, can, you know, overstand the fullness and, you know, don't be scared or paranoid of their own history. Because as the Honorable Prophet Marcus Garvey said, a people without the knowledge the of past. their past origin. history and their origin and culture is like a tree without root. Yeah, but all right, watch here. Um, S Samaria, Zin, the S Samaria and the Samarian tablets is where most of these um, knowledge now um, come from. See, and 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 the question we may have around the world of that still, you know. You know, Africans are not um, Sumerians, as you know. The I put a lot of emphasis on, um, you know, Kemet and, and Nubia. You know that you know the Africans, you know, have kingdoms um, within Africa. Nubia was one of them. See, now Sumeria. And, uh, and you know we are not Sumerians, and the Sumerian text is what um, allude to you know to most of most of the, the, the information that I'm seeing a uh, 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 circle about the place you now. You have whole political um, famous scholars out there that you know pushing the narrative still. You see me? So that that are the question we have around the whole thing, you know. That you know we are not Sumerians, but it's the Sumerians that really have, you know, these these knowledge are within their cultural, um, what I call it, you know, their cultural outlook and life, you know, in a Sumeria, which probably. Where Samaria, where they call Iraq, or, you know, round, round them, round them side, there, you know, Far East, not even. Yeah, where them call the Middle East, you know. Yeah, Far East. Yeah, but just a throw that in the my lad, you know. For, for, you know, for, for, for get forget the eye, respond on it still. You know, for know that you know most most are you know the talk about the Anunnaki is is, is mostly in you know, a you know the Sumerian um, so-called mythology. Even though I don't believe in a mythology and all of them someday. I think anything you think up in your head, it's real. You know what I mean? 
can't be hit me, mit. You have to be real. Well, that is the thing about it now, my lord. You see, all things, um, all truths um, that is being revealed now were based on myths that were, were given to I and I, you know. So we were we were told certain things and we were told that they were myths. However, it is I and I based on us doing our different research and stuff like that. Came to realize that there is more to these truths or these myths that are truth. You know, these these aren't just myths. So it is I and I that is now doing my research. I find out that there is a lot that was hidden from us that is now being revealed. And as it is said in the scriptures that what was hidden from the wise and prudent now is being revealed to the babe and suckling. So there is a lot of hidden truths in these myths, but we have to, you know, dial, delve deeper in to come to that awakening of consciousness, my lord. Reality still. Yeah. Reality. Reality, my lord. Yeah. We have to dig deep, Marcus said. Yeah. Yes, I. Yeah, I feel big deep. All right, my lad. Yeah, cause you know we see these things uh, go around. You know, especially in America. You know, people are saying that. Uh, you know, we 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 are not Africans, and you know we are indigenous to the Americas, and uh, you know we are Jamaicans, and we are maroon, you know, all different type of narrative uh, as as uh, go round, you see what I'm saying? and it is mixed with a lot of truth, and it is mixed with also um, lies. You see me? Because um, you 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 Africa is the place where all African people come from. See? Now, if you have Africans um, in America and in, a, in a the Americas, so that consists of the Caribbean and, and, and you know, everything that I saw. And there I say it used to be Atlant- Atlantis. See? But through, you know, previous happenings why you see me I say even the same anarchies have some link with with the whole of that but Africans would have to leave from Africa for, for end up round round this on my lad. Yeah that, well I want to put this into the eye. Mm. At one point in you know, my lad there was um a crossing where they call the um, land sea or sea land bearing bridge, you know. Whereas, um, people from the 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 the, the, the e- across Asia used to walk across and come into the America, like the Mongolians and and these other um, ethnic groups yeah. that came in, and uh, I and I people were the first to have check these parts or to check these parts my lord mm-hmm. so I and I people has been in the Americas for you know a very long time so so as history as history has shown I and I my lord is that the people that are called Indians in America are Aboriginal black people my lord so it it is it is nothing new these these history are being revealed like daily it is that some people are not you know 
reading very much or seeing very much what is taking place. But, you know, these history are being revealed. So I and I have to come and, you know, get that consciousness or that awakening in our consciousness, my lord. Rastafari. It's last year. Yeah, all of our things are revealed. It's true. Yeah, a lot of things, my lad. But um, at the same time, you know, at the same time, uh, you see, we have been, you know, these places a very long time. You know, so, you know, we, we, we leave from somewhere and we go to these places. And the thing is, those people... Are, they are indigenous to that part of the that part of the the, the terrain. You see me, I say. And the only reason I can um, put why you know you will have features, African features, seeing it because Africans them got along before Columbus and all of them, all of them. Um, Europeans went there. You see me I say? And when when them go there, them go there for trade. So who know, you know, interbreeding and all of them things that gotta start happen between um, Africans who went there to the Americas and, and with the native American um, Indians, Aboriginals are, you know what I mean? You're right there, my lad. You're right there on point. Because remember, you know, our people um, that were down in the south also, you know, were called the Almex. Right. There you go. Yes. So so if 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 we, 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 we take a visual uh, um on Marcus Garvey, we would see whereby Marcus Garvey carry that facial feature of what you would call or who you would call an Almec but yet he was born in Jamaica mm-hmm. and at the time of um, Columbus lost and being found you know in Jamaica he went there and he saw native indigenous people that were called Arawaks or, or Taino yeah. So these are these are same um, black people, you know, which over the many century history has whitewashed and plagiarized for um, our people to look like a rare species of people that is has been extinct. But you know, it is I and I, the same people from that time in this time so we just get different names over the many different centuries to to suit the narrative of the conquistador my lord see it. See it, see it, see it. so as it is as it is and as it was said my lord there is nothing new under the sun nothing at all nothing at all nothing at all Nothing new under the sun. Nothing new, my lad. Yeah. That is a... Uh, so, that is a reality. That is a reality, my lad. You see... The, you see the history, though. The history of these places, you know. The history of these places. Um, you know, black people been traveling these places long before Columbus because... Columbus hired um, so-called Moors, Zane, to 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 take him to these places. Yeah, Portuguese hired so-called Moors to take them to the Carib because them couldn't sail ship go to them places. They never know how. So the navigators, you know. 
of maritime um, the, 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 the waters wasn't you know European they were Africans so De- the definitely Af- my lord so the definitely Af- yeah the Africans them are, 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 are journey them them place the long Iowa you see me them are journey them place there you see but I still know say the Africans go there and say and, and go there and say indigenous people you see them go there and say indigenous people and and and, and I saw them could have able to be doing trading and them thing there with 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 those indigenous people over many um centuries you know what i mean because just to think if i and i they are over 300 odd million years my lad. you know a whole part time that yes my lad lots of time you see and like 2000 years we are talking about, we are talking about 300 odd million <laughs> you see so the history vast still you know the history vast but is when you know people try to confuse up um, the thing when you know the thing is plain to see and and you know simple you know to to understand yeah, as dear. as as they have a um they have a parable that say you know my lord that simple straw blind yeah you know <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said even though things may seem or appear to be simple yeah. you know to the depth of knowledge that it all many people are overlooking or undermining Same. so they cannot come to the realization of what is hidden. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they can just they can just merely assume because you know they get the truth, but then based on the fact that they don't know their own history, the truth would appear to be something shady. True. Yes. So most people shun the truth because them don't know the truth. My lord. And the truth shall set you free. And the truth shall set you free, my lord. Yeah. Yeah, it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing, my dear. Yes, sir. The truth shall set an eye free, but most people don't want to hear the truth and they don't want to search for the truth either. They just want to take what is being fed to them. So even even when it is, you know, all made of lies that is being fed, you know, to ones and ones, they are they are willing to accept or buy into the narrative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know that's. That's what they were taught, or how they were taught. Yeah. So it is I and I, this generation, you know, that is coming now to change, you know, such perspective and to shed a new light and history to be revealing what was hidden. So as, as the Honorable Marcus Garvey once said also in one of his quotes, you know, my lad, he said that education is not um, confined to just the four walls of a classroom, you know, <laughs> but it is beyond that, that we should seek to be edificated. So while I and I were attending um, school, like primary school and, and high school, you know, at that time, history was taken out of the curriculum. History was not being taught to I and I again. See. So it is I and I, after coming to the realization that the history that we weren't taught is what is going to lead us out of the dark. 
So, you know, by us starting to dig into history, we start to find out that there is so much cover-ups that has taken place. There is so much things that is happening or that has happened that, you know, there is a surface over it or a veil that is covering our eyes from not seeing it. So it is not until we come to the realization of knowing that these veils have to be lifted for us to now start seeing things for what they truly are and not what people say they are. My Lord. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. True, true. Yes, sir. Yes, Bobo. So, all right. Um, the cool reason about Canada, you know, you know, the the, the idea in a, in a Canada, and you know, it seems like the 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 eye, the, the people are having some issue with the eye. You can you can basically call it that, my lad, because. I and I are the only um, Rastafarian where they in other vicinity here where I really hold up the culture away and I highlight, you know, Rastafari. So it's like the ones around as it is back in a 2022 there was a thing that they called um a freedom convoy right and you know that was the moment that you know all I and I as black people should have you know came together to be fully you know liberated and emancipated from the mental and the colonial you know slavery that was inflicted upon our ancestors and we came to bear the brunt of it. So I I ventured there because at the time I was going through a lot of, you know, racial discrimination and, you know, like bullying from from the Caucasian people, you know, that I, I used to work around and I see whereby the, 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 the playing field was very much unbalanced. See? So I went, to, I went to the Freedom Convoy and I was there for a period of time. And I realized that where I was, I was the only African there. Or only what you call a black person then mm. standing there because all around was, was white or Caucasian, so to speak. So, I was there, my lord, and you find out that these people try to gang up on me. Um, from I, I, I was there for a little short time, these people try to gang up on me, and I stood my ground. Anyway, they conspired, you know, and got me arrested. I didn't have a criminal record, I still don't. You know, and they they, 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 they conspired to have me thrown into jail. Well, I was thrown into jail, get released and came back out and still, you know, was standing holding my ground. You find out that these people conspired even greater, my lord, to accuse me of, you know, things that I, I had no, you know, knowledge of and to you know, say things about me that, you know, was really, you can see that it, it was all made up. So I, anyway, I got thrown in jail for three months. Wow. Where they try to, please? Yeah, man, me, me there, man. Listen there, man. Yeah, where they, where they try to, like, basically lost her in the system. Because at the time, I had no criminal record, but then 
the, 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 the persons or the lawyers, the legal aid lawyers who took the case. These people were Caucasian people and these people were from within that um, area. So they, they, they failed to represent me in the proper manner within which I should have been represented. So I ended up spending time into a correctional institution, right? See. After being released, there was a lot of um, writings that I was doing, my life. So you find out that these writings were all based on historical facts and the fact that, you know, I was advocating for the liberation, freedom, redemption and repatriation of I and I people, you know, and the freedom to, you know, express ourselves as equal beings among the masses. So all my writings, majority of my writings were, were, were confiscated, were taken away upon me being released. And afterwards, it seemed as if I have now become like a target in and around my community whereby it's like, you know, everyone that, you know, are, is aware of that occasion or incident because it was something that was on national television for the period of time that it was there. So basically most people that saw my image there, you know, as somewhat come to you know, build up some kind of dirt or have some kind of negative energy towards me as what they would call a freedom fighter then, so to speak. So basically, just like back in the, 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 the early days when Marcus Garvey was here in Canada, he faced many oppressions. So that is when Marcus Garvey made a speech over in Sydney, Nova Scotia, and he said that we must never forget that intelligence rules the world and ignorance carries the burden. Therefore, we must remove ourselves as far as possible from ignorance and seek as best as possible to be intelligent and we must emancipate ourselves from mental slavery because while others may free our bodies none but ourselves can free our minds So my lad, it is, it is, you know, it is inherently nothing new. It is the same, you know, kind of tribulation, you know, that I and I ancestors had gone through at that time. It is the same kind of tribulation that I and I are going to, are, are actually experiencing right now, my lad. Majesty. So you said the thing make the make the news. The thing make the news, my lad. And and you know it make the news, and for some reason it has been like pushed down, you know. Mm. Yeah, man, it has been it is it has been like swept under the rug. So, so basically, no one knows definitely what I'm going through here, the oppression that I am facing, because everything is being like, you know, silenced. But then it is a spiritual Armageddon or a spiritual battle that is being fought rather, my lord. So I, I am being penalized for standing up for... African people's liberation 
freedom and redemption. My lord. My lord. My lord. So at, at, at the um at the event. Um obviously it it, it it appeared that anybody could have been at the event, right? Yes I any any people from all walks of life was at the event, you know. Right. But 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 for some reason or another the, the, the eye was ganged up on and the eye became a target. Yes, I, my lord. Yes, sir. Because, you know, there was, at one point in time, there was people coming from all over just to, you know, have an interaction with I. You know, there, there was a um, few virgins that I had met from California that told me specifically that it was in California they, they, they were and they saw they saw me on their television and they were saying like we have to go there so go 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 go, go link the Rasta man or we have to go there so go get the bridge in there some strength and you know people from Mexico people from all over people from even the greater in you know, the greater Ontario Toronto area was there you know because people people came and met me, you know, my lad, and left and go back home, you know, and send their families and friends to have came and interacted with me as well, you know. So I couldn't have been a, 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 a wrong door or I couldn't have been there, you know, promoting some kind of, you know, nonsense. And people would go home and send their families just to come and have interaction with me. It must be that I was, you know, there doing something that was upful, my lad. Which was the system don't approve of. The system does not approve of, my lad. So from then until now, my life has just become like a target. Whereas, you know, let's say that I don't have certain kind of assets here or certain kind of financial you know standings here you know and I would have to basically be working with an organization to you know provide for my own soul right now it's like in every area there is like an asterisk beside my name to say like this man is it not supposed to have no work or, you know, even the, even the, the other, um, what you call Jamaicans that are around in the vicinity that I am in, even they have like somewhat sidelined me. See? Yeah, because they are saying that the Rasta, the Rasta problem, man. And I, yes, I, my lord, that is, that is how my owner people them, that I was having very good interactions with and relations with, you know, that is how they have now come to paint I and paint I. So they, they make you even become an outcast amongst your own community. Amongst my own community, I am, I, I am now like an outcast. People that used to come to my residence and come and sit and hold our vibes or eat and drink or whatever, they no longer venture, they no longer visit, they no longer like see I and want to have no kind of, you know, interaction because, you know, the system has painted such a grim picture of me, of the eye, making I look like, you know, some kind of energy, whereas all I was merely sharing with the ones them, you know, is peace and love, you know. And I and, and the need for us to awaken from the slumbered mentality and come to a, a, a more acceptable awakening of consciousness, my lord. Yeah. The people them the people them drift. 
them um they make you look like you was a troublemaker by the way. Definitely my lad. Definitely. So that is like, you know, character assassination type of thing. Thank you so very much, my lad. So basically that is that is what they have done or they have they are attempting they have attempted to do, my lad. To assassinate my character, tarnish my reputation. So I not supposed to have no get no work with no one. I am mean, not supposed to you know what I mean? I don't supposed to be providing for my household. I supposed to look like a, a, a villain. Or yeah. And I'm saying that that is not good, you know, coming from, you know, coming from the people in our in our society right now, my lad. You know, that is not good. And then what they try to do, they try to use the law enforcement, the criminal law enforcement agencies to further inflict more blows, my lad. So it's like them paint, them paint a grim picture of the eye, my lad. See you. Thing so the thing so now we so is, is all right. So what what the situation? So the I can create for yourself. So if you that start your own business or something like so. Well, if I did for start I own business right now, my lad. You know it's gonna require um, capital, right? Natural. Sure. And 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 then we have to have certain resources. But then if the people have turned if the people have turned it's like who am I going to do business with or who is going to support my business when when my character and reputation has been under an assassination attempt Interesting point still. Interesting point. Interesting point. So, 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 what are the way out of this situation, my lad? What, what is the way out, you see? Because you, 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 you're in a system that um, wasn't designed to benefit you in and you, you're not at home so you're not amongst family Zin. so oh, 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 oh you see yourself out of that situation what, what, because it doesn't look like the system is going to assist you in any shape no, my or God. form so so right now um the only best thing for I right now, my lord, is, you know, you know, to be, you know, repatriated, you know, whether to the continent, you know, or to the island, you know, to, you know, hold forward, you know, ajay, because it don't make no sense either, so, and I can't, um, like, full joy or, you know, live my life according to how Iron Man was created to live then, so to speak. Because everything is obviously against or going against I for, you know, reasons unknown. It's like the system set up our own people to eat with. And this is something that I have, I have, I have seen throughout the centuries. Because I remember, you know, even in Jamaica, you know, it was said that Marcus Garvey was sold out for rice and peas. Mm. Rice and peas make itself to become Jamaica's like national dish. Yeah. And no one love rice and peas and can cook rice and peas like Jamaican like people. Jamaica. 
True. So it is like it, it it is like at the same kind of scenario, my lad. Whereas, you know, we are here, or I am here in this part here, but our people is like they have drifted because of the fact that no man now go give up them bread and butter or to make themselves look like they are associated with I. So it's like everyone basically a child for show me say yo you stand alone in a this one here, you know. But 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 the eye but the, the eye is not a criminal. Well that the is eye, that is it my lad. The eye don't have a criminal record as me, me hear the eye express earlier. See it? So why why you know because it, it, it's criminal people don't want to mix with. You see me I say? Drug dealers and all these different type of um, human traffickers and you know what I mean people don't want to mix with no criminal you see so I don't know how, how is it that the people um, that deal with the eye on that level it you know it's on a way it's on a way my lord and you know, as Rastafari, we never go and really look towards a system which, you know, oppress us to really help us. You know, because we know that, you know, we never, we never go and get that justice. So, it, well. it, it, yeah, it, 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 um, it set, it set away, my love. It set a way that um, you know, as Rastafari people, you know, we find ourselves more while in a, in, in, in a these things, my lad. You know, with with an oppressive system that doesn't cater for us, that doesn't like us. You know, that want to you know have us in slavery through all the days of our life. And if we, we are not enslaved, you know, we we should be begging them. You see it? Well, that is that is basically how the system has now set up itself around I for I and I to be once again enslaved or we start begging. Like we are beg we are we are begging for the crumbs of Master's table. Mm-hmm. And I and I are not supposed to be doing that, my lad, because we have we have outgrown that era. That's we right. I and I have outgrown that era, so we're not supposed to have beg um for no crumbs right now. We're supposed to be given the, the, the rights and the freedoms to go forth and you know exercise our franchise in the most upright and upful way knowing that we're not representing just our physical self but we are represent the, the divine Ayla Selassie I the first so my lord I, 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 I really you know I really don't you know know why you know these people have a like a pick but then i do know because come on if you're going to be standing up for freedom redemption and repatriation of our great nation don't you feel like there is some kind of you know consequences that are going to come with the choices that was made you know them kind of way my lad yeah some pushback yeah some kind of pushback so it's like you can't just come come win this victory. Uh, just so so so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to hold you down. And you know, if we don't hold you down, we are gonna we are gonna tarnish your reputation, we are gonna destroy your character. So by the time we're done with you, none of who you fight for or none of who you think say you did stand up and fight for, now nah, go stand up with you. Mm-hmm. Everybody are gonna turn them back for you because when we're done with you, 
You know them kind of, you know them kind of way them, my yeah. lad. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. We so it would, it would be, it, 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 it is easy for them to paint the image of Christ to be white, and then them paint the image of Satan to be black. You feel what I say? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so it is, my lord. Them, 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 them. They, they are, they have plagiarized history like that in the past, and they now wish to do it again because they have not seen anyone with the substance in the 21st century. I say, boy, all right. We are gonna stand up for something because one thing I do know, you know, my lord. Is either you're going to stand up for something or you die for nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. And for for I and I to come and have stood up for, you know, the 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 the, the, the freedom, redemption, and the repatriation of our people, both spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, you know, economically, and on all level, my lord, is like we are giving back our people, you know, a position. On the, on the global scale then we are giving back our people a recognition within the diaspora them can't it's not like it. go, go again my lord I said they cannot allow that no they, 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 they it's not that they can't allow it you know but they don't want to allow that because they basically don't want us to see ourselves being equal mm. to attain whatever we desire or we aspire to attain, my lad. So it is like we must always be begging. Yeah, slave to them. Yes. And I think it's about time for, for, for that to be ended my lord because as his majesty stated that until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is totally discredited and abandoned my lord it's gonna be a war and you see wars are not just fought um with armaments of destructions anymore you know my lord wars are being fought spiritually so that means these wars are untelevised mm-hmm. and these wars are the more dangerous wars right and now my lord the my spiritual lord. war my lord my lord serious thing man we in a war and that is important for people to know that we 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 in a a war, serious war. You see me? Because it's a serious thing what they I say. You know, there's ones out there that them they choose to to you know black black them out, black them out, you know, shadow them out hold them down you know tarnish them name yeah so them 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 not do what them supposed to to do you know what i mean so it's a real war psychological war economical war financial thank you war. you see is, is, is war upon all fronts you know war upon all fronts my lord and some people you know are very comfortable you know in this war not knowing that is a real war within at least probably some of us still you know many are calling about few chosen you know so and many and many have eyes my lord but they are they are lacking 
the vision or, or they are lock, locking the sight. Mm. So they are not seeing, they are not seeing what is happening around. But then if you try to make mention of it to them, what they do, they try to get aggressive and try to make it seem as if you are having some kind of delusional thoughts mm -hmm. or you know, you're not seeing clearly or something is wrong with you because that is how they deemed I and I in a Jamaica, as you know, them said Jamaica Rasta man, a madman. Psychological war. So it is it is a psychological war to assassinate our character and even our existence as beings. Because we're not supposed to have this consciousness whereby we can see through the 10 inch wall as where them would have called it yeah them 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 met the people them feel like uh, some 5d you know thing where i go dip on them phone and all of them but you see you know what i don't know but the people them the people them who I try to hold out, you know, um, these people who are star seeds. You see me? Who are chosen to do certain things, and them know exactly what is it they're fighting you know, for. You see? Them know exactly what them are fight I and I for. Because them can't allow I and I to to awaken the rest of ones that are sleeping. That is the old fighting. You know? That is the old fight because I, I I go and put this out on the platform and you go and say whichever way I title this thing to put it out. You go and say all oh, them shadow, the the shadow, the reach of how many of our people this information will reach. Because that 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 you know that is them all aim and objective. That is a part of the war. You see me, I say they want to control the narrative that is you know that is going out there and remember you know one of our great african revolutionary you know said that he who feeds you controls you you know mm -hmm. so if a man if 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 a system have the potential to feed you with information and misinformation that means they can control the way within which you think yeah. and you act. Of course. And that is what is happening right you now. Mm -hmm. Because a, a lot of our people are, you know, I'm not saying that people can't have them Chris Kiara and them nice ride and them nice house and yeah, but if you don't have a nice planet with good um systems of governance, you know governing the planet having these things don't make no sense because you are still a slave to the whole system again to the whole system again that is what they want you know for you to be a slave they don't want to, you, you to be economically you know free you must work for them you know get up when them tell you to get up you have to be at work at nine. You have to finish at five. You have to wake up at, you know what I mean? The systematical, you know, slavery. That is all they want, you know, to have, you know, I and I as a people. You see? And, 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 and that, is, that is another part of the war that we are fighting, you know? fighting an economical battle because if you have money and you can do things then you don't have to work for any guy 
You see? And if you're not working for these guys, they don't feel good. You must be on the tools at all times. You must be, you know, out there in the field, sweating. Oxy. Because, to be honest with you, you know, my lad, this is where I've come, I come to realize that I and I are just considered a number, you know, in this society, you know. Mm. Yes, sir. That's I and I are just considered a number in this society, my lad. So anytime, anytime you can, you can just remove that number, and that that number is no longer. My lad, that is all them try to. Um, that is all them 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 have the thing set up right. Well, we have to seek better, you know. And well, that is it. Yeah, we have to seek better, and you know we have to just strengthen our mind, you know, because you know the battle is on. That is for sure. The battle is on. Yeah, my brother, the battle is on. Yes, my king, so. You know, we give thanks to the reasoning, you know, my lord, and um, what we can say. You know, a man say, you know, it's better to, you know, pray than than cry. Yes, sir. Yes, and you know, to I too much praying at the same time. You know, you need actions. You know need actions you know yeah. yes my lord because prayer without works you know my lord is dead same way you know yeah so you know uh, you know what i just there and say you uh, pray but then in actuality there is no work being done or being put out you get to me okay to go along with the prayer to go along with the prayer so it's like Faith without works, my lord, is like death. Mm-hmm. We know one just there and I know say, you know, I have a, 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 a queen here or I have a wife here, but then I can't provide like I should be providing because the system has as, as, as put a mass chick beside my name. So they make me look like I am incapable or I am incompetent yeah. to handle my own affairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lower than a man. That is what the system is, is, is saying. That is what basically the system is trying to make me out to be, my lad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that your woman have to probably, you know, depend on the system or, you know, you know, cause it, you know other type of meditation start coming. Is it? Yo, psychological war. <laughs> yes, yes, my lad. Yeah, psychological war. You see, but the fittest of the fittest will survive still. You know, and you know, if we just stay strong, my lad. You know, keep the feet. You know, uh, trusting at the most eye. Father and mother of creation, you know, and yeah, words and works, my lord, you know what I mean? Yeah, out of the back, lad, the sweet of the victory, them says, yes, my lord, you know, just go and hold the faith, my brother. Man, that is all I, know. I can do at this blissful moment, my lord, just hold the faith, you know. All the fate, my jar. Mm. Yes, my king. So yes, far, my right. God. Yeah, man, give thanks. Um, I don't know if you want to want to try and reach out to the IR, you know what I mean? If they are, you know, anyone can give the eye assistance or, you know, if you want to leave a contact or, I don't know. Yes, my lad. There can be a contact, my lad. Whereas, uh, there I have the WhatsApp number. Whereas, I, I have, I use, you know, 
and you know ones and ones you know if they're willing to reach out you know to hype on certain level you know because given the circumstances that are, are surrounding my life there is still this lengthy court case from two years ago see so so even presently it's like I there and all the oppression where I have faced right now my lad it is seeming that like I still have um, a court a matter in the courts that is unresolved for the past two years seeing that, that 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 still needs to be disposed of and as we say and as we know when you're in a society where the criminals are the ones that make the laws there is very unlikely that there will be any justice Choo -choo. So right now, my lad, may I tell you the thing, the thing stay away and, you know, the system has programmed everyone's mind to, you know, somewhat detach from I. So I have to just there and you know, like, you know, like a lion in a jungle all by myself, just knowing, say, yo, Jago carry I through because He's the one has been doing that for a ride from time immemorial. So, you know, now it is going to be nothing new, you know. I am alone, I can depend on right here, right now. Yes, sir. Yes, my lad. Alright, my king. So there, there I could have given out the number still. You know? Yes, sir, my lad. The number 902 626 9474. Yes, I. Rastafari. And the name, you know, the name officially is Tommy Morgan or Lion King because, you know, most of the ones them where I associate with or have connections with it within the diaspora, you know, that is the name that they know I as, you know, the Lion King, you know. So, yes, I, my lord. Yes, my lord. So. And I do, and I give thanks, you know, for you know this privilege and the moment, and you know, for the blissful viewers and subscribers, you know, that would have taken the time out to check in and to you know hear what is happening, you know, because as as it is clearly said in the Bible, you know, we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, you know, but it is against the principalities, you know, the powers of darkness, you know. Yes, I. So, yes, I, my lord. Yes, I. We do give thanks for the hopeful energy, beloved. Yes, my brother. Yeah, man, I'm all love and strength, man, and you know, just skillful guidance and protection, my lord. You know. Yes, my lord. Give thanks and praise to that, my lord. And every day above ground is a, you know, blessing, you know. True, ja. True, 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 my lord. Yeah, man. Yes, far right. So give thanks for right and you know till we meet at Negos feet. Yes, my lord, give thanks and praise again. And I'll slash the guidance and protection be stop on the eye and the families. And all the blessed viewers and subscribers, my lord. My Rastafari. Rastafari. Peace and love. Slash the eye. Yes, I, my lord, give thanks. Time to rise, time to open up your third eye, full time you start to realize that all this time they've been telling us one bag of lies, telling us a God in the sky that for you and I he die, Jenko Jesus or me or mile, these things they taught us from we were a child, false indoctrinating the innocent minds, mind control is the signs of the time. Android, Cyborg, AI, all these things combined All these things combined might sound like a rhyme But the evidence reality is right before your eyes And I know this guys The age of Aquarius is the shifting of the time Sun, moon, stars, the planet in the cosmos align As the cosmos align Low vibration, frequency, decline You strengthen your mind Access to knowledge, information from the Almighty Creator Divine. Creator Divine. The time arise. 
I feel it time for rise The time appointed Because I am anointed The time arise I feel it time for rise The time appointed Because I am anointed Smash that subscribe button See you on the next video I just start the mindset